Hi all, I am Dr. Naresh, Consultant Pediatrician at Manipal Hospital, Malayshuram. Today I am here to discuss about few of the queries that the parents of the children who come to my OPD have kept on asking in the last two to three weeks. First question is, will Corona have a cure? When is the vaccine going to come? Uh, what you all need to understand is, the whole of mankind is dealing with this new disease, the novel COVID-19. And even as of today, after six months of the infection, there is no 100% proper cure of the disease. So yes, we have not yet found a proper cure. And the second thing is the vaccine. It may take six months or it may even take one year. There are multiple strains of this virus. And so we are really not sure which vaccine will work in which country and when the vaccines are going to come. So what you all need to understand as parents of young children is that this disease has no proper cure and vaccine is going to take a long time. With this coming to the few common queries that they have enquired me on, the first thing is what kind of food do I give my child? Since the lockdown is over, can I order pizza once in a week? Can I take them out to the chart shop? They have been fed up at home for the last two months. These are the common questions that most of them ask. Our suggestion would be avoid outside food as far as possible, pizzas, charts, all these kind of things at least for six months to one year. Make it at home as far as possible. The second point is can I take my kid to the park? or can I take them out if the malls are open. Better to avoid park visits frequently. See, we don't know what kind of virus lurks where. And also, we are entering the rainy season now. So, in India, dengue is going to start. So, our suggestion would be take care at home, eat healthy food. If it's unavoidable, go to the park and crowded places maybe. Avoid crowded places completely, but to the park to take your kid weekly, one day, when it's not very crowded, monitor them, don't let them play in a big group, maybe two to three of them with social distancing and once you get back home, give them a good bath, take the best precautions that are possible. So this is about the food, about their play in the park. Next thing would be how to manage them at home. I know it's very difficult if both parents are working to manage at home, but see, creating a timetable for the kids including one hour of yoga in the morning if grandparents are at home or even if the father and mother can train them. Second thing is 9 to 11, expose them to some good informative channels on TV like National Geography or Discovery Channel or make them go through some of their school syllabus online. Then 11 to 1, make it a proper break time or a lunch time, snacks time. Creating a proper timetable will regularize their life. Now coming to the final question what most of them have asked me about the schooling. Their main doubt is if the schools start, can I send them to school? Can the schools guarantee us that my child won't get corona in the school? See in India basically we are dealing with three kinds of parents. One is the urban parent who does not have time for their kid. The second is the urban parent, one of them has time for their kid or they can train them or teach them. And the third thing is parents who are in the rural side. Basically rural side I am stressing because they don't have much of net connectivity, television etc. So we cannot impose one law to all of them and tell them, eighth, these are just my suggestions, 8th to 12th class all of you need to send your kids to school. We cannot impose such laws on the or make such rules on the parents. What our suggestion is that? There are a group of parents, basically the mothers will be homemakers who can afford to spend time at home. It may compromise 50% of the parents in any school. So for such parents, the school can give an option to log in online and they can in fact make a online weekly available class so that there is no fixed time. They can upload the weekly timetable for a whole week and the parents can access it for the entire week. Let us say both the mother and father are working. So evening the mother comes home by 6, so 6 to 9 she will access the class and teach the child. 
If this is possibility, then they should go ahead with the online classes and the remaining 50 percent who cannot afford an online class or who do not have a facility at home, they can go to school. So, this way what happens is we reduce the numbers at school, so it is easier to manage and also whatever class is being done at school, online it is delivered to those children who are affordable at it. And once in 15 days, they can call a batch of students and assess them or summarize whatever has been done. This will take class of take care of the students from 8th to 12th class. But coming to the younger classes, let us say LKG, UKG, 1st to 7th, as of now it is too early to comment on that because we do not know how this disease is going to take a course in the next 6 months. So, we will just follow the government rules and if the government tells lockdown better they all stay at home and parents have no other option but to take care of their kids at home. This is from LKG, UKG till 7th standard. Hope this was informative. All the best and hope we find a solution for the corona disease. Thank you.